Hello everyone. Today we are going to use the slash structure command. The structure command is just like a structure block, except now you don't have to have a block. So let's get a structure block first for comparison. Anything we put in the square will be saved. So I'll make something first. And a unique feature of the structure block is you can clone entities with it. So now we put in a name and make sure to save it to disk. More on that later. Now let's clone our structure. Click load and enter the name. Make sure the spelling is correct. And there we have it. Now let's do it in command form. Just type slash structure. Then we want to save. And get the coordinates of the structure. But first we need a name. Let's call it test2. Now we get the coordinates. Just press tab twice and we'll get the coordinate of what you are looking at if you are in bedrock. Now if we just want to save the structure, we just put save and then enter. But since there is an entity inside, we put true because it asks if we want to include entities. Now we choose the save mode. Disk means it would get saved in the world, which means every time you load the world, you can still use the save. On the other hand, memory means it is temporary. So we put disk, then we put true at the end, because it asks if we also want to include blocks. Now let's test it out. To load a structure, just type slash structure load, then the name of it. Be careful of the spelling, and then the coordinates of where you want to place it. The other parts are optional. Now how do you delete a structure? Just simply type slash structure delete, then the name. If we try to load it, then as you can see, it is gone. There you have it. Thank you for watching.